I got mending. I got mending, guys. Okay, we have to trade. We have to trade. We have to trade. Ooh. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the video. It's me, MC Cal Gamer, And today, everybody, we're going to be playing some Minecraft. As you can see, there is a... The zombies have come to say hi. Anyhow, it's nighttime. It's so gonna be a beautiful day in Cowland. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded another video. It's been two weeks. I went on vacation. So I'm back now. And I'll try to bring go back into full swing. We're just gonna kill this guy. His XP. So yeah, I promised in this video that we are gonna be building a stable. So hi Jimmy. And uh, also the skeleton spawner that was right there. And I also had a surprise for you guys, which is still there. So, that's our, so I think we're going to start with Jimmy's stable. He's about this size. Basically what I want to do is like have like an entrance here. And then I sort of want to keep like the same style of home as here. So I have like a tilted roof made out of concrete and everything. And yeah, so I think I'm going to get straight into building it. And yeah, I'll see you guys when that's done. So I finished uh, his stable. Looking pretty fancy. Sort of has the same style, I guess. And, yeah. So we could just ride Jimmy through here, and nothing will happen. So that's pretty good. I think this is done for today. Next, we have uh, the spawner. Okay, so we're at the spawner. As you could see, I found it through here. Now, I looted this chest already. And luckily, I lit up that spawner. So, what we have to do this is a pretty sp small spawning room. We're gonna have to mine out four blocks in every direction. So, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, guys. So, I'm gonna be starting a new thing. It's gonna be called Super Fast Time Lapse Chat. So basically what this means is whenever we're doing a time lapse like this, we're just I'm just going to talk with you guys and talk about different subjects, for example, um, things that we want to do in the series or whatever. So yeah, uh, if you guys want me to do that, tell me in the comments down below. And let's get straight back to the video. Okay, so now that that's done, um, we have to mine, I believe, four block center, so I'll do that. So yeah guys, it's only been a couple seconds since our last time lapse chat, but I think this time lapse, we're going to be talking about the future state of the channel. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this Minecraft series, because you guys have been liking it a lot. And um, but I'm also going to make some like tutorials on how to build different redstone things on this channel, and also different like random videos on different random games. So yeah, if you guys like that, tell me, and uh, we're going to get straight back into the video. Okay, so now that that's done, we have our whole spawner room done. Uh, we go underneath here, we mine out that block. Then I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make like a little setup here. And here, we can make an infinite water pool. So, we can fill up this area. There we go. So now whenever a skeleton spawns, they'll fall down here, and then get trapped into this one block. So now, the room is basically done. I'm gonna pick up some more water, and then I think we're gonna start making the killing mechanism. Hey guys, so, um, yeah, I finished it. This is just for, uh, accessing the top. And then in here, we have the mechanism, sort of like the same room as I had in the old house, but a little bit different. So if I turn this on, it'll shoot these back and forth, and when the skeleton drop, they'll get killed, and the XP will come through here into me. Oops. Behind here, this is how it works, so when I push this, this makes a clock that is then uh, regulated by this repeater that then goes into this piston and then makes them move. So that's how that works. 
Uh, here will be two water elevators up and down. Down will lead to a storage area and into the place, obviously, and up will lead from the storage area to here or all the way up. So yeah, I'm just going to mine up. I'll go get, we'll make these two water elevators. And then this place will be almost done. As you guys can see, I finished it all. Skeletons are spawning. And yeah, we're just going to kill them all. And then we're going to get XP. So yeah, that's that done. And so now that we have a skeleton grinder to get XP and bones, we have a horse stable. I'll be revealing to you guys the secret from last episode. Guys, so I'm here, as you guys can see, um, we're in the desert, and this is the villager breeder that I made. Oh, it's already, as you can see, they're having babies. So basically how this works is, you can see the farmer is picking up, and you just saw him, he gave stuff, and they just had a baby. So, what happens is, the farmer takes the carrots and gives them to the other villagers, so that they're able to breed, and so then, uh, they start to breed. As you can see, they just had a baby. And so now, uh, there's eight beds here, and I think the mob cap is completely full, so they can't have any more babies. Oh, yes, they can. They can have one more baby. So what happens is that the baby villagers will randomly wander into that hole there. Because there's a trap door, they think they can walk on it. So they do, they fall in, and then go into a water stream. But then what happens is that, um... The adults can't get in because there's slabs there. And so then once they get far away from the beds, they deconnect from the beds and more, they can have more babies. So that's how that works. And over there, they go, get sent all the way over there so that they can have babies. Hold up, we can trade with them later on. Now there's a thing here where they fall down. And then they get sent off via minecart. But I think I'm going to have to improve this area a little bit more because it's not very good. And yeah, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to start building the villager trading hall. So then we can try and hopefully get mending, which I'll try to get this episode. If I can't get it this episode, then that sucks. And we'll have to live without it. I don't know how these zombies keep on getting in here, but I don't think the husks can actually infect the villagers. So all these are grown now. I don't- oh yeah, these things will make them have, uh, a profession, but I'm gonna get rid of those later on. So now what we have to do, is I think, we're gonna start- building so i have all these resources here um credit to credit to silent whisper for the design i'm going to be using for my trading hall and so yeah let's get straight into building it okay so now that we have this is b the basics sort of so without the rails and stuff but then so there's the bed here which they the villagers can link to then there's the redstone that's basically all the redstone so now i'm just gonna continue building and i'll see you guys when i start putting in the rails so, I'm almost done the trading hall, as you can see here. We have the rails all in, uh, fence gates, um, iron trap doors. If you watch the video of the guy who made this, he explains it very well on how everything works and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the trading hall and I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, as you can see, I got a villager inside. So he's in a minecart. If I don't want him anymore, I can just press this button. Well, basically what I'm going to do is get out my, uh, my lectern, and we're just going to keep on, we're going to place it here, he's going to pick it up, he's, he's going to pick it up, okay guys, I didn't get mending, but I got this, sharpness 5, I definitely want to keep that, so what I'm going to do is come over here, get myself my sugar cane, and make some paper. Trade with him. Now he's locked. And, um, yeah, he won't change his profession. And he'll stay like this forever. 
So, Sharpness 5, guys, is a really good book because I really want to make my super good sword. So, Sharpness 5 will be useful. Now, just have to go get a piston, I'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I got myself a piston. I also um, got a name tag so that this guy never despawns. And his name is Looking Sharp. I might have spelt that wrong. But who cares? We have Sharpness. Never mind, it's not Sharpness 5, it's Sharpness 4. But hey, that's still very good. So now, we can get rid of it and he still has his trade so that's good oopsie doopsie and now we can just go here get rid of that um there it is place it there get a piston there yeah, so now he's connected to it, and we just need to m move it. Destroy that. And now, we have a sharpness villager. Epic. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a mending villager. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. I got mending. I got mending, guys. Okay, we have to trade, we have to trade, we have to trade. Woo! Guys, we got mending. Epic gamer moments. This should be enough, right? No, you don't want to trade with me yet? Well, how about this? You want to trade with me now, son? Yes, you do! <gasps> guys, we got mending. Okay, this is probably, like, the best thing I've ever done in survival. Sir, you- we're gonna need a good name for you. Okay. Huh? Yes, he still has my name. Okay, good. Good, good, good. You guys don't know how happy I am. I've been trading for like an hour. Let's go. Okay. No. Please. Minecraft, don't do this to me. Yes. Okay. Woo, guys. Here we go. Boom, Mr. Me huh, what should we call him? I think I'm gonna give him a temporary name for now, guys. Maybe Mender Mendingson. Or... No, let's call him OP. OP's a good name for you. Let's go do that, and I'll be back. OP is your now your name. Mr. Mending Villager. Thank you very much. Guys, this is a very important day. Today we are buying our first mending book from OP. Ready guys? Three, two, one, go! We have mending. You know what that means. We have infinite things. Our things will never break ever again. This is looking good. And the more we trade with him, the lower it gets, and we can get mending for a lot cheaper. I also had to trade with this guy quite a lot. So now we have, we sell five melons for one emerald. We have a lot of melons, so we can easily do that. And then pumpkins too, so I started a pumpkin farm. Let's go back and, he, I think he just restocked, but yeah, let's go back. And let's go put this mending book on something. Okay, so we're back. This is the valuables chest with all of our good armor. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, mending on this one since we used it up a lot and we'll use it a lot more than all the other things. So let's go put it and I think this will be our new pickaxe, our official new pickaxe. So here, silky smooth with this. Boom. Our new pickaxe guys I think you guys know where I'm gonna go straight to the skeleton farm let's turn it on and watch as we heal our pickaxe wait a second 
Wait a second. That skeleton has full diamond armor. Maybe we should try if we can get that diamond armor. That'd be great. Nope. Okay. You guys, so now Silky Smooth has mending and is fully repaired up. I think what we're gonna go do is one more thing for this episode. But first, let's take a nap. Okay, guys. So, this is what we're going to be doing today. If you guys know what a treasure map is, you find it in a boat. And, yeah, I found the boat. And it was pretty close to the treasure. So, what I think what we're going to go do is we're going to go find that treasure. And I also have nine um, Nautilus shells. So, that means we can make a uh, conduit, which is effectively an underwater... Uh, like beacon so yeah what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a boat and we're gonna go explore okay we have our boat we have our two shovels and a third shovel and we're gonna go to find this map well uh the not the heart of the sea let's just say and i know that every treasure has a heart of the sea so that's good for us but another thing that's good for us is that there might be diamonds or something in there. And, yeah. So, I think we're gonna go. And I'll see you guys when I find it. Okay hey guys, we're getting close. As you can see, the water is now showing. So I think it's that island just in front of us there that has it. That's what I think it is at least. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys when I arrive at that X. We have now arrived at the island here. So let's get right on the X and then we're gonna have to do quite a lot of digging to find this treasure. So I guess it's like right here. So yeah, I'll start digging. That's actually a joke. I found it right away, but okay. Name tag, oh, a new song, which is good. We have potions of regeneration, which will be useful in the fight against the ender dragon and a heart of the sea. So that's nice. And that we found it when we first dug down. So yeah, let's go back. Also, let's play that music disc. Hey guys, um, so this is the end of the video. I have a conduit made, and we have our music disc. This was a pretty crazy episode. We have a co we made a conduit. We got mending. We made a skeleton spawner and a horn for my horse. So yeah, next episode, what we're gonna do? Think we're gonna build a blaze farm so we can use our mending. We're gonna go find raid and collect blocks from a monument and so we can get this conduit all done and that's their plan for now so i think we're gonna end the episode off here guys if you guys did enjoy smash like and subscribe and uh hit the bell for more minecraft content so yeah see you guys later bye